Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jules. Thanks for coming back for another video. We are in the week following Independence Day here in the States and uh, still uh, Colorado has uh, not learned how to warm up, which I'm totally fine with. It's, we're, you know, we've, we've earned a cooler summer after the last three or four being so ridiculously hot. It's like 68 degrees right now at about 10 o'clock in the morning on a Saturday and uh, I could not be happier. I'm actually, I'm wearing two shirts just because we get, it, we get a nice cool breeze through the house and it just, it's just so awesome. I love it, so cool. Um, so uh, what's been going on? Uh, so this past week, I've yet to, I'm, I'm kind of in an all time sort of, well, not, I don't think all time, but one of the biggest stitching slumps that I have been in, in terms of my own stitching. Uh, I, uh, I remember years ago, there was a point, and this might have been when I was, before I was doing, I think it was before I was doing videos, where I think I went away from stitching for like three months. Just, I, fin I had finished a big project and I was like, yeah, you know, it's gonna be done for a while. And, uh, but this time it's like, I've, I've wanted to, I've picked it up, I've worked on it. I've tried to do things like, I'm, I'm the sun and the moon pattern, like this is as many stitches as I've done this week. So it's um, just crazy. So, you know, it, that happens it's not a big deal sometimes your brain just kind of goes in different directions um and you know i'm confident it's coming it's going to come back of course i've been stitching for over 15 years so um yeah but i i kind of wish it would i want to get some stuff done i want to i want to partake in the stitchy goodness so to speak so um but behind me um if you can see we've got a couple of my my actual designs if you if this is my first time to my channel i actually own a, uh, or run a design store for uh, cross stitch patterns and uh, stitching jewels design and it's uh, I do a uh, lots of monochrome or black work however you want to put it um, where you use just black thread black floss um, on a light or it's just basically one color on whatever color fabric you don't have to do black and white <clears throat> excuse me that's just what I do uh, most of the time as you saw I was doing black on uh, <clears throat> excuse me, black on yellow over here. Uh, but the, um, but that's a lot of what I do. And, uh, I try to do a lot of things that are unique that have not been seen in cross stitching. Uh, that's sort of my goal. Um, here's another, this one's in full color, Daphne Chamberlain. Thank you, Miss Daphne for stitching this one for me. Um, and this is another one of, uh, my designs. I also have a mini version of this one on the store as well. So links are down below, but you can find either stitchingjewelsdesign.com or uh, same name store on Etsy. Uh, but, I, you know, I seek to kind of do tangent. Okay, let me go back to the why the stitching part. Um, so, you know, I've had some issues with my fingers just from my, my newer, newer job that I've been at now for about four months. I actually uh, kind of cranked on this finger a little bit. It looks pretty good right now. Actually, it looks great right now. Um, I injured it at the end of the day on Thursday and I ain't even really sure how I did it. Uh, but, um, it suddenly started to really hurt at, at this top joint here. And so I, uh, I ended up yesterday cause I woke up and it was actually swollen, bruised, it just didn't look good. I couldn't bend it very well. So I just went over to urgent care per, um, work and just get it checked out, make sure everything's fine. Got an x-ray done. No big deal. Start icing it really aggressively, taking some Advil and whatnot, and and I also put some tape on it. I got some, uh, I got some black athletic tape. I, I had actually already purchased this because my fingers do undergo a lot of stress, and I've mentioned before how my finger issues, like my finger discomfort, kind of prevents me from stitching sometimes when I've wanted to. Um, so I'm going to use the tape to kind of prevent problems in the future with my fingers. But anyway, I taped it yesterday. Um, and even just a couple of hours of taping, literally just like, it's not a hundred percent pain free. If you put some, if I put some, a little bit of load on it, it's still a little uncomfortable, but it's vastly improved from what it was. So I should be able to get back to full, um, craziness starting on Monday back at work. So, but, uh, anyway, um, hopefully I get to stitching. Now what I just showed you was stuff that I did yesterday. So maybe I will have, um, you know, some stitchy motivation this week. I keep putting out, I, I keep researching patterns. That's the thing that I'm actually focused on now is pattern, pattern, pattern. Um, I just, I love, love the design process. I love finding things that I can uh, convert into um, 
a, a, a really good, you know, really good design. The, the ones that really, that I really love are the black and white ones because it, they're so unique in how they are designed and the way they look when they come out because they look like they're, you know, they're three dimensional. And yet if you were to like zoom in on them, you can see uh, with the, with the glare that they're just stitches. They're just individual stitches and these are half stitches. So half stitch on 25 count, if you were worried about coverage, I mean, there you go. It looks great. And so, but, um, so I, my, my biggest thing with wanting to do design, and again, I always have to throw out a big shout out to Ronnie Rowe, uh, Ronnie Rowe Design, who pioneered this technique and who taught me and has been a wonderful mentor to me for some time. Uh, and I need to talk to you. I, I did, I, uh, I meant to reach out to you this week and with the finger and everything, everything just kind of, I lost my mind. And so, um, but uh, the, uh, what's the words? Um, focus, with the pattern, oh, so anyway, with the pattern design, um, you know, I just seek to do things that are more unique, that, that definitely, like you don't see out there in cross-stitch patterns. You know, if you say you're on Etsy or even just on a lot of other different sites, most everything out there for cross-stitch patterns, it's all the same. And it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of samplers, which there are maybe a dozen different at truly outstanding um, cross-stitch uh, pattern designs for samplers, they're awesome. Um, I met some of them at Nashville a couple of years ago and oh my gosh, Karen Cluda, <whistles> crazy, awesome. Um, and so, uh, anyway, but, but there's not a lot out there for like, say pop, you know, cross stitch. And when I say pop cross stitch, I'm not talking about the stuff that you see on Etsy that is like Disney and Star Wars and, uh, you know, all those things. Um, cause that's technically, that's a copyright issue, right? I mean, if you're, if you're doing... I, I, I try to stay away from that. Now, full disclosure to you guys, because I try to be honest and open as much as I can with you guys, um, but uh, I actually got a slap on the wrist from Etsy this week, and very deservedly so. Um, when I have been looking for subjects for cross-stitch patterns, I have worked to focus on places where I didn't. it didn't require like a like an open copyright or again, like, how do I say this? I'm saying this wrong. I looked for a place where it was like a creative commons license, the kind that would allow you to, to make patterns like this or public domain or, you know, something in which you had proof that you had, you know, the license for it. And I was using a specific site that I really liked. A lot of my early stuff is all from that. Um, and when I initially started and I researched that, it was clear that there was a lot on there that absolutely I would have no problems with getting, um, or I had no problems with using it, using that photo, image, whatever, as a basis for my cross stitch. But I got a little lazy and I stopped looking at every single one of them that I didn't, you know, to make sure that I had permission. And uh, what I got slapped on the wrist for was the loon, um, the. Uh, uh, the the very beautiful photo of a loon on a on a lake with like an orange sun reflection um, in the both in the environment in the on the water itself. <clears throat> also, wait while I'm thinking about it. Thanks guys for all the great comments about my new haircut. I'm still very happy with it. Um, I just I can't I like nonstop. I'm just messing with it. It just feels so good. And yes, to the people who said, bet your hair head feels lighter and it feels lighter. Feels like there's more air getting to my head. And so hopefully that eventually will turn into stitching. I don't know how that works, but maybe it will. Um, so uh, so there's this one thing that was posted that um, on this site that w was not copyright free. And I actually didn't look to see exactly who posted it. I just know that when I did an image search for it, it popped up as being as belonging to a specific um, photographer. And I was like, oh man, I totally screwed that one. I, uh, whoops. So I took it down off the site. Um, and I also went through and individually went through and checked out all the different things. And in the end, I think it was maybe about 10 different patterns that I took off the site, um, off the Etsy site. I still need to take it off the, the Stitching Jewels design site. So if you want to get some things like, um, which ones? 
Book Street is probably the one that everybody loves the most, but don't have I don't have copyright um, for that. I apologize. I mean, like I said, I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. And, um, and so anyway, so going forward, um, you know, I, like I said, I went through last week and I, I spent a lot of time checking the site out and making sure everything was good. Um, but I found a different, a couple of different places where people submit art and it already like, boom, is like you, you have full license, you can do whatever you want to. Um, and I actually, for some of these, I've actually reached out to the individual person who posted them and just wanted to make sure that I was clear that I um, had uh, permission to do that. The other thing I want to point out is that um, I had paid for these too. Like there's a, there's a whole like licensed membership kind of thing. Um, it's not crazy extravagant, but it, it, it pays for itself. But uh, it, uh, you know, it's not like I just rip you know, like, oh, I'm just going to take this for free. It's like, no, I actually paid for it. And so, um, I just, you know, used it in ways that I wasn't supposed to. So, uh, but anyway, so I found, um, I had been using another site, but I hadn't used it very extensively. And because of all this, I started really looking into it and I realized that I, it has maybe even better stuff that I would love to do. Um, and present to you guys as cross stitch patterns. So now that I've been mumbling and jumbling and bumbling for almost 12 minutes, I'm going to show you some of the new patterns this week from some of these uh, some of these sites. Now some of these are wait, so one, two, three of them are from this site. One I actually got off of uh, like a public domain image, but not that you could ever tell me like I don't think what photo it came from. So I've modified it enough. All right, so let's show you guys. Um, first one up, and I wrote stuff on the back of them and the Sharpie bled through. So, uh, first one up is, I've always wanted to do more human anatomy stuff. So, this one is actually in grayscale, the human back muscles, like just the posterior chain back muscles, um, shoulders down to the gluteus maximus. Um, and this, this is 95 across by 150 down, and you're not stitching, like, everything. It is, um, not full coverage. So there's only eight colors being grayscale. And um, it's, a, it's like I said, it's a fairly smaller thing. So that's why there's not a ton of detail. Now I am also just about to release a larger black and white monochrome version of this. That is beautiful, absolutely beautiful, I love it. But for now, I just wanted to get this, uh, this smaller one up. So if anybody likes and you know, cross-stitching anatomy, there you go. I'm trying to break into that a little bit. Speaking of anatomy, Another one that I did, a really good monochrome eyeball. And so I'm super happy about this one. Uh, more stitches than you think. Um, to get this level of detail, I mean, look, you can see like all the little individual like things in the, the punctate, uh, whatever they call them, puncta, whatever in the eye, um, eyelids. But this one is 270 by 135. It's about 13,000 stitches. So it's a, it's a decent project. Um, but it is, you know, you could stitch it and be like, I got my eye on you. I'm going to keep my eye on you. I should just put this one up here so I can keep an eye on everybody. And so, um, there's that one. Then, um, all right. So I can't remember who keeps saying, please, I want a waterfall. I want a waterfall. I want a waterfall. I hope you like the waterfall one that I did. This is a very large waterfall. I don't remember if this is Niagara Falls or not, to be perfectly honest with you, but I just call it waterfall in monochrome. So I'm super thrilled with it. Um, originally it was a lot larger and I decided to just kind of cut it back, cut it back, cut it back. And now it's like 300 by 250. There's a lot of stitching though, as you can see. It's about 36,000 stitches. So it's definitely one of those like bigger projects, more like a, um, you know, to me it fits along with like the Winter Barn, um, you know, all the nature type stuff, but I hope you guys like it. Yeah. Waterfall. All right. And then the last one, this is one that I got explicit permission from the, uh, poster author, whatever you want to call them. Um, a lot of people are doing things now with digital art, um, digital art, um, AI stuff. And, um, so there's just a lot of new things that are out there that nobody's really seen before. And I'm just trying to curate and sort of pick and choose among some of the things that I find interesting to put to you know to put up as designs. So you're gonna see a lot of crazy stuff coming from me. But like I said, I've got proof of licensing for every single one of these things. But 
anyway, if those of you guys out there were looking for another Elvis, here he is. Another Elvis Presley. Um, actually, it says, I think it says Elvis painting. Actually, I think I called it Young Elvis in the end. Um, again, fairly small. 90 by 110. You're not stitching this part right here. So you can stitch this on any fabric you want to to make it really pop. Um, 11 total colors. It's, it's almost a sepia tone, but not quite. Um, and there was a fair bit of fixing that I did with, um, with this particular one because the original one was a little over, like whoever actually did, whatever computer actually did the art kind of overdid it in some spots. So I sort of went in and kind of corrected some of it. Um, but super happy, super happy with that. And so definitely, definitely love it. Um, but I have many more that I want to have, uh, come out here in the, in the near future. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, I love to design so much. Um, so if you guys have suggestions, if you're like, man, I really would like to, to, to stitch, stitch this, you know, let me know. Um, I do have some, I am working on a border collie. Somebody asked for a border collie, um, dog breed. I have quite a few that are in various stages of development. Um, and, uh, Sydney Opera House is another one that I need to come up with. Um, and so I'm just, I mean, I'm constantly just looking for like just the right photo that I can make into a black and white. Like I want to have like this whole series of just stuff. I don't know. I love the black and white so much. I really do. Um, you guys know that if you've been around for a while. So, all right. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit because I'm chit chatting so much. <laughs> Um, trying to think if there's anything else going on. Not a ton. I mean, there is, but not necessarily going to share it here, but it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. But, uh, anyway, so hopefully these fingers will start doing some stitching, but I will be doing some designing. So, um, if you, uh, would like to keep up on what I'm doing, uh, Patreon's a great way to do it. The links down below. Um, you get discounts on patterns and kind of you get to see sort of what I'm working on and releasing before I actually release it. Um, there's uh, I have Instagram. I have a uh, I need to put more personal stuff on there. I've kind of been sort of trying to figure out what I want to do on social media and I've just more, more or less been advertising my projects, but I really need to be doing more, um, trying to enhance more. So I'm constantly kind of working on evolving the, the business. So, all right, gang. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you're getting a lot of stitching done. And if you're not, I hope you're enjoying yourself, whatever you're doing. And I will talk to you guys very soon and yeah, see you later.